Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, a new video of uh, the series, Let's Speak. My friend Petri, I would like to welcome him. Thank hello, you, Petri. Hello. Thank you. This video was requested by a few people as well. Petri looked up Italian words. He's going to try to say them and I have to try to understand what it means. Now guys, if you're new here, please make sure to subscribe and you'll get notified whenever new videos come up. And uh, feel free to go back and watch some of some of the other fun stuff that we did. Petr, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, I guess that's it. Sweating starts and uh, let's go. Okay, all right guys. Now the reason why we're laughing is that I just found out that he just looked up the words. He doesn't even know what it means. So <laughs> if I don't understand them and he doesn't know what it means, it's gonna be a long video, but bear with us, okay? All right, Petri, Italian word number one. Okay, this is actually a phrase. Oh, <laughs> God, okay, go. Okay, I think this is a question and an answer because there's a question mark. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hai voluto la biblichetta? E adesso pedala! It's not bad, it's not bad at all. It's really not bad. Um, so it's, it's uh, I voluto la bicicletta e adesso pedala. It literally means you wanted a bicycle and now you have to, to, to cycle. Well, yeah. Right? So, and that's a saying that Italian used when, uh, for example, you want a new car, right? Mm -hmm. And you buy an expensive car and insurance is expensive, right? Yeah. But you're super proud, but you also have all these expenses. Mm -hmm. So that means, oh, you wanted the new car? Now take everything that comes along with it. Ah. Right? So you wanted a new bicycle? Now you have to cycle. Yeah. So I'm going to be, ah, I voluto la bibliceta. <laughs> Bicicletta. E da so pedala. <laughs> Bicicletta. Be Bicicletta. Bici. Bicicletta. <laughs> no. Bicicletta. Yeah, that's okay. All right. <laughs> Bicicletta. American Sunday. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Braccia rubate al agricoltura. Braccia, rubra uh, braccia rubate al agricoltura. Oh, God. Um, I've never heard it before. I understand it. So, basically, it means you is stole... Rubate is like rubato. No, stolen. No. Okay. <laughs> I tried. You, st <laughs> you stole the arms of agriculture. Yeah. Now, I've never heard it. I assume it means something along the lines of you're robbing the poor people. Something like okay. that. Okay. So, if you guys are Italian out there listening, please uh, correct me on this. Don't quote me. I assume that's what it means. Let's try this one. Uh, avere la botte piena e la moglie ubriaccia. <laughs> I don't, just, why are you going like deeper with your voice when you speak it? <laughs> Avere la botte. Like it's not Russian, just relax. Avere la botte. Avere la botte piena la moglie ubriaca. Is it put... racist what I'm doing? No. Okay, good. No, oh it's not. <laughs> and Italians are white, so it's really not really considered racist. Oh, yeah, it right. would be more stereotypical, yeah, I think. I guess, yeah. I d we, uh, Italians don't get offended. We are, you yeah. know, we're used to it. Yeah. Um, Avere la botte piena. You know when you do when you make wine, you put them in the big wooden things. Oh, and then you stomp? No, no, no. no. Just oh. at the end when okay, you let yeah. it um, for years and years, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So what it means is you want one of those things full, mm -hmm. la botte piena, one of those things full of wine, but you want la moglie ubriaca is a drunk wife. <laughs> it's it's similar to the bicicletta. It means you can't have both, right? You can't have that thing full of wine, but your wife also drunk. Yeah. Because she would have been drinking it. Yeah. Does that make sense? Nice. Okay. Does it? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> it does it. <laughs> it's, it's like saying it won't work. If your wife is drunk, you don't have wine. If you have a lot of wine, your wife won't be drunk. Which basically just means you can't have A and B. Yeah. Right? Gotcha. You can't yeah. have both. Yeah. Nice. Hai ragione tu ed io ho torto scusa. It's so red. Hai <laughs> ragione tu. Edio torto, scusa. Yeah. That was pretty solid. It means you're right, I'm wrong, sorry. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you looked up, man. I don't know. <laughs> now I have words. These are, okay. I'm assuming these are Clean. words because they're very long and they don't have... Oh, no. But okay, let's try this. Okay. 
Let's start with the short one, but I think this is actually pretty hard. Okay. So bear with me. Okay. Chia chieri chio. Is there an H after the C? Yeah. Kia. Kia ki. Kia ki eri kio. Kia kiri kio. Kia kiri kio. It's like small talk. Kia kirari. Yeah. It's like having a little chat. Yeah. Yeah. Chit chat. A little chitty chat. Yeah. Kia kia kiri. But I never. Apparently, that was like one of the hardest words for. Kia kiri. What was it? Kia kiri kio. Kia kiri kio. Yeah, if it was kia kiri kio, it would be an accent on the O. So. Oh, I think it means like a person that talks a lot, like a lot of chitty chatty. Ah, gotcha. Talks a lot. Don't please do. Italians jump on this. And I haven't spoken Italian in a long time. <laughs> okay, here comes. Oof. Oh no. All right. Concentrate. Okay. Okay. Precipite volissime volmente. I heard this one. When I had Italian lessons, I had Italian lessons in Switzerland with Italian teachers, actually, for Italian-speaking people. Precipite. Precipite. Vol- volissime volmente. Precipite. Vol- I never heard anyone using it. Um, but it actually means do something a little too quick. Doing something without thinking, like mm-hmm. acting out of, you know, just get something done. All right. In bocca al lupo. Into the wolf's mouth. Oh. Lupo is? Wolf. Ooh. It's not lupus. Like Dr. Lupus Hunt. is Latin. Yeah. yeah. Nice. In bocca al lupo, it means good luck. Really? Yeah. You say, go into the wolf's mouth. And then your answer is not thank you, but crepi, which means hopefully he dies. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Well, because if you're in the wolf's mouth and he's alive, he's going to eat you. So you have to say, hopefully he dies. Like, And that's good luck? Yeah. It's like, if you go into the wolf's mouth and he dies, that's good, right? That's good luck. But no, you want him to survive. Well, I don't know. Oh, you hope for the wolf to die? Yes. Oh, I, was like, <laughs> I was like, why do you... <laughs> Of course, the wolf. I was like, "Good luck," and I hope he eats you. <laughs> no, the wolf should die. Ah, yes. Okay. Fare le corna a qualcuno. Ooh, that's a big one. Fare le corna a qualcuno means uh, put horns on somebody. What does it mean? Um, it means. Oh, you're like you're making. Translated means. That's a literal version. Translated, it means that you're cheating on someone. If you're putting horns on your wife, then you're cheating on your wife. Because she's the one with the horns. Okay. That means you've been cheated on. And there is just like one word you can also call someone cornuto. Cornuto. Means you're horned. You have horns. Your wife cheats on you. (laughs) That's a bad thing. Like if you call someone cornuto, it can be very offensive. Did I say this one already? Which one? Essere al verde. No. Essere al verde. That was pretty solid. That was a good pronunciation. Um, essere al verde means being on the green. Hmm. Like the golf term? No. <laughs> okay. It means you're out of money. Oh. But you can also say son al verde when you're like ran out of gas in the car. Oh. I think so. Please don't judge me too much or... Feel free to correct me. I would appreciate every single comment in here. Because I, oh my God, I haven't heard them in a very long time. Saltara di palo in frasca. Di palo. Di palo. It's not the same as pallo. Pallo is a ball in Finnish. Yeah, palla is a ball in Italian. Yeah. But pallo doesn't exist really. Saltare di palo in frasca, it means jump from like a strong stick to like a little grass thing you're downgrading from like if you had like a bmw now you drive a bicycle hmm. probably maybe i don't know all right that would make sense all right petri this is it for part one of this video uh we're gonna do part two next week and i'm excited for the rest of his amazing list that he didn't look up thank you very much for helping me out in this and uh i'll see you next week and i'll see you guys as well next week 
Make sure you subscribe and like this, uh, this video and comment if you know Italian people, please share with them the things that I wasn't able to answer. Help me out guys, this is, uh, this is tough, it's really tough. But thank you for being here and stay healthy out there, stay safe. Bye bye.